Hey guys, my name is Haz and they finally announced season 6 of Rocket League Sideswipe. I'm very very excited about this because as we all know with every season it's a very exciting time to be playing Sideswipe and yet again we've come to yet another new season and this one looks like it's gonna be pretty exciting so let's get into everything that we can see in the patch notes. Before I give my overall views and thoughts on the patch notes, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be covering a lot of season 6 content on the game and in general I'm going to be playing a lot of side swipes so yeah do stay tuned for all of that. So getting into the patch notes it looks like it's going to be another rocket pass and we are going to be getting 3 cars. The R3 MX, the Dingo and the Maverick. So interesting selection of cars there. I think the Dingo is personally my favourite and the, something I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, I think that it's a pretty, but overall the fact that we're getting three cars in a single season is actually pretty impressive and uh, definitely going to be a car filled season. Also, it looks like we're going to be having a lot of uh, like um, old items in the item shop which was there in previous seasons like the Raijin wheels, the Quasar Gold Explosion which I don't mind because they are very really cool items. So I just hope that they kind of give us a lot of cool stuff from previous seasons because it does seem that way looking at the patch notes. Also super excited about the collaboration between Rocket League Sideswipe and Rocket League where they're going to be giving us a new banner just by the collaboration. Uh, I think we got a complete I think 20 online matches and also we got to log in in the Rocket League and if we do both of those things we'll be getting this special octopus banner which uh, definitely looks really really good I have to say it looks um, pretty awesome. I think definitely worth it and a nice little way for them to promote Rocket League. I think it's a smart idea and uh, honestly, we players have been waiting for a collaboration uh, like this since season 1. So, the fact that they're doing another Rocket League collab is actually really, really awesome. And yes, guys, just like I said in my prediction video, one of the three actually came. They're going to be getting Heat Seeker in this season. Just like I thought. I, to I told in my prediction video that I hope they're going to be getting Heat Seeker, uh, Snow Day, or the other game mode. I forgot the, uh, the third one, but one of those three. And out of those three, we did get Heat Seeker in the end, which I'm super super excited about. Honestly, I think out of the three, I actually wanted Heat Seeker to come the most, and it actually did. I honestly can't wait. I think it's a very very good idea to implement Heat Seeker in Sideswipe because it will be making for some really really fun plays. And uh, just the thought of the ball zooming on its own while every car touches it, I just love the idea of it. I think it will be really really awesome. Also. Not gonna lie, I'm also super excited about the collision um, feature where now your cars can actually collide and clash. So that's gonna be really, really awesome. Honestly, I think this is the best part about this update and I think I'm very excited about this. One of the most excited I've been for Sideswipe for quite a while. So uh, I think the Heat Seeker is a big W. The Rocket Pass seems to be very, very cool and I love the collaborations. Overall, looking at the patch notes, I think it's going to be a very exciting update. I'm pretty impressed by it. Although I did hope for some very fundamental changes like stats and um, maybe item shop refresh times decreasing. But other than that, um, I think there are, they are continuing to uh, bring some good stuff. And we're nearing one year into the game. So this Octopus banner is actually celebrating the one year anniversary. So I was hoping that they would make a big feature for this one year anniversary. but we still got a lot of cool stuff, I'm not going to complain but hopefully they are going to be rectifying some long term issues in the game which need to be rectified but other than that honestly I really like this update so looking at the patch notes I think I would give this update an 8.5 out of 10 I think that it has a lot of potential especially with this heat seeker mode I think I have a feeling that this heat seeker mode will be a fan favourite and I think um, it will be there to stay honestly and I also like the fact that they've kept looted a madness because like I said, it's a very exciting game mode and I like the fact that they have not got rid of it. I would love to know what you felt about this update and what did you think. So leave that in the comments below. Uh, were you happy? Were you disappointed? And what's your thoughts? I would love to know. Anyway, that's all for this video guys. I hope you are excited about the new season. We are less than two days away from the new season and we are very very close to some exciting new content. So with that being said, do leave a like and sub to my channel uh, because we are very close to 350 subs right now and it will mean a lot if you could, you know, get me there. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I hope you're pumped for the new season and I will be seeing you guys in the next season. Has signing out. Peace.